You know, it's amazing you asked that question because actually at the show today, we, we were able to find out directly from a lot of those entities themselves that were t participating that they all are going to be the catalyst. And that's the key distinction today as opposed to what we saw in the past. And, you know, it's interesting you get companies like ISIS that come up on stage and they present and they make full on statements about what they're doing to have kind of an open NFC approach and really engage the brands and the retailers. You get some of the developers that are coming up here showing off some of the cool new use cases that they have. And then even with respect to what you brought from the airline in the transit agency where they're talking about how they've actually deployed some NFC type implementations around the world like in Japan or in, in Scandinavian airlines. So it's, uh, it, it's basically the answer to the question is it's all of these entities and that's the beauty of NFC. It allows us to really say that we can touch all these different brands, retailers, merchants, users and have them engage NFC in a meaningful way. You know, it, it used to be that there were pockets of act activity with respect to NFC engagement. But the beauty of NFC today is with the fact that the, uh, M the uh, handset guys have started to deploy NFC in these handsets that they ship globally, now we actually start to see a lot of traction in all of the different parts of the world, whether it's China or Europe or what we even see in Mexico, um, Canada, Americas. Uh, we're seeing activity from the carriers, from uh, some of the, the merchants, some of the point of sale vendors, all looking at how they can start to integrate NFC into their deployment scenarios. And so um, I wouldn't say today that it's one region over the other. I'd say that because the OEMs have started to put NFC into the handsets, it's been a catalyst to really drive NFC adoption in all the, the regions in the world. Actually, it's both. Um, it really depends on when you talk about secure NFC scenarios, that's what matters to brands like the banks and the associations that are doing things on secure smart cards today and want to migrate that same type of solution into a mobile phone. And then if I talk about um, non-secure application use cases, like a developer um, where the guy created a, a, a small fish game where you can use an NFC tablet to pick up a fish, um, you don't need security with that. And that actually can, de can be deployed today, you know, just through an application in the App Store for an NFC-enabled handset. And so um, I, I wouldn't say either one is more important. What it comes down to is what's more important for the actual end user and how they want to adopt NFC in their lifestyles. Yeah, this is, this is the key point that we were trying to get across here at the show this, this week and that we want the consumers to engage NFC. And so um, the first part was getting some of the brands and retailers to actually start using it. Um, we have saw that with some of the applications like ISIS talking about how they're actually advertising to the users to try and convince them, you know, when you see the ISIS logo at a specific retailer for trying to do a coupon or for a payment, that you can actually engage that actual point of sale terminal or smart poster, and then that consumer would now be able to use NFC technology as a result of that. Um, or, or with some of these small startups where they're basically saying, I want to actually deploy NFC, you know, in a pocket opportunity, whether it's, you know, here in the U.S. or in other parts of the world, and the actual end user would pick up on that. Um, <coughs> so from that perspective, I, I don't know that there's a killer app per se, because this is one of the questions people asked at the conference here. What, we, what I think the summary was is that it's really that there are going to be a multitude of apps and as we get these multitude of apps out there the more the merrier so to speak and as as the individual consumers in, engage with these applications and usage then that will help NFC start to take off and what I would say become more sticky and actually, actually people will use it love it and continue to perpetuate it share it with friends and it becomes actually just a, a daily part of our lives going forward.